Well, in Albany today, New York Governor Kathy Hochul discussed crime statistics and trends across the state, detailing what she called a noticeable drop in violent crime in the first six months of this year. WENY's Connor Friedoff spoke with local law enforcement today to understand if that statewide trend is translating locally. Connor. Renata, compared to the first six months of 2022, the first six months of 2023 saw a 6% drop in violent crime. That's according to data reported by sheriff's offices and police departments in 57 New York State counties. I spoke with some of our local police to see how these trends stack up in the southern tier. Earlier this morning, Governor Kathy Hochul spoke at the New York State Association of Chiefs of Police's Leadership Summit. The governor discussed how resources are being used to bolster law enforcement efforts across the state and the results. And when we went from 500 car thefts in Monroe County in June to 152 last week when I was there, I saw what progress looked like because we had local law enforcement that worked in partnership with our state police and found the answers. And that's what we're going to continue to do. Data from police departments across the state indicated decreases in violent crime across multiple crucial categories. Compared to the first six months of 2022, the first half of 2023 has seen a 27% drop in murders, a 16% drop in rapes, and a 5% drop in robberies. In Shimon County, the stats look to be following statewide trends. We're not hearing as many uh, gun-related cases uh, in and around the county, um, so I think that's a good sign. You know, you can attribute it to a lot of different things. Sometimes it's something as simple as some of the key players are off the streets. And uh, because of that, the crime kind of goes down along those lines. Going forward, Hochul said she would continue to focus on public safety. With $347 million dedicated for programs designed to combat gun violence in 2024. In addition to combating gun violence, new state investments will also provide $100 million in legal aid for prosecution and defense funding, as well as $31 million for alternatives to incarceration. Renata?